Welcome to the Master Within community. Today, we are going to explore into the course of life. Among us human beings, who have not yet thought about life for a single time? It is us human beings who ponder about the meaning of life. It is never seen, at least not known to us, that an animal is searching for the meaning of life. We can see that the different kinds of actions have been decided, the roles have been decided for every other animals. From their birth, they appear to know what they have to do. Their instincts are so much developed and so much ingrained in them. But such is not for the case of human beings. We are gifted with free will, if we may call that. But if we take a deeper look into this free will, what is actually free? We are free to want. We are free to want what we want. We can, we can want the thing that we eat. We can choose what we want to have at our home. This act of choosing, this will, is the free will that we think that is with us. But if we take a deeper look into this will, like why a person wants this thing and doesn't want another thing. If we take a deeper look into what causes this effect, like someone with an absence of a certain kind of basic need in the home will want something. If I don't have a television, I'll want a television. If I don't have a cell phone, then I'll want a cell phone. So we, our wants are driven by certain necessities. And these necessities are collected by our mind, are analyzed by our minds. This is the reason the mind is the harbinger of all the desires. The basic desires that are within us are being pampered, are being nourished throughout millennia and that created our instincts. These instincts developed the complexes within us, the passions that drive us to do something, that let us enjoy things. And such passion gave rise to the vices or the six vices or the sins that we may call. Now how come the things that we were given to choose, to enjoy, became our own enemies. That happened due to the lack of their control. The thing that were given to us to enjoy got out of control. Let us give an, let us give an example. Suppose there is this taste of our tongue. This property was given to us so that we can enjoy the food, so that we can be taken, we can be driven to our objective so that we can collect the glucose that is necessary for us, for our well-being. But what happened? Sometime, some way along the, somewhere along the way, we got distracted. What happened is, the taste overtook the need. There is a great saying that the earth has everything for everyone's needs but it has, it cannot fulfill a single man's greed. So to check the quality of our want, to check the conditioning of our mind, we need a certain kind of training. It is not to control or decrease our wants, but to know actually what we want. If we take a look, the basic urge within every human being the basic urge within every animal or organism is the urge to exist and to enjoy this existence. And in the process of enjoying this existence and living, we want to grow enormously, grow with no limits concerned. 
and this is in short we call being and becoming. But alas, we have a problem. The problem is that we don't have control of these wants, we don't have control of these passions. And that drove us to wars and all kinds of maladies that we see in the world today. And I, a scientist once said that had there been no mosquitoes, had there been no uh, insects, the civilization would die, the ecosystem would die in a few years. But had there been no human beings, the flora and fauna would enhance itself. So why? Why this portion of ecology, why this sense, this human civilization has become its own cause of misery? This is that reason that we don't know the proper application of the faculty that we use. And for that, the ancient sages, the scientists of past and future, they have devised, they have researched over this system and went into the depths of knowledge and became the incarnate of knowledge itself. They passed on to that knowledge through generations after generations until the evolution brought forth the man, the knowledge incarnate himself. Such a man we call the fulfiller of the age. History has named him as Avatar. People call him fulfiller the best. Many call him the God incarnate because look, we may not have seen any extraordinary God, but if there is any God, any idea of good embodied, then that is that man, such a human being, such a personality in whom all the good qualities are imbibed. Who is the fulfiller and nurturer of all kind of instincts throughout the world? Such a man is fulfilled the best. Such a man is Purushottam. So in our channel, what we do is, we collect the ancient wisdom, take all the good parts of it, which are necessary for today's circumstances. We blend it with the modern day research, prove its validity. And we do all of that in the light of the fulfillers of the past and all that fulfilled by the present, the present fulfiller the best, Sri Siddhakura Chandra. We must understand that all the past prophets are consummated in the divine man of the present. They are not separate. In Bengali, there is a saying, Ishwar ek dharmu ek ar prerito gant ek bahi. God is one. It is not about any kind of Abrahamic religion or something like that, no. And it is not about Hinduism either. These things are different views of the same thing. Some advanced, some lagged behind, but all pursuing that same finding to the source, the same search, the same seeking of the ultimate truth that lies within us. And what we see through the ancient wisdom and the modern researches is that all this kind of knowledge is fulfilled in the divine man of the present. So please join our journey. Subscribe to this channel. We have another Bengali channel or follow us on Facebook, Instagram and let us share this knowledge. Help us share this knowledge with everyone. It is not our, our knowledge per se. It is the, out of the knowledge incarnate the avatar of the, the divine that happens by the immense evolution of human civilization. And it is a universal phenomenon. And what we are doing are simply practicing it and we are, and we are greatly benefited by that. Not I alone, but many people around us. We help people, we get help by people because together we are one body, different parts of one body, centered around that ideal, the consummated form of goodness, the God incarnate. So subscribe to this channel, share this video with others, more exciting videos will be coming very soon. And we'll be starting to upload more videos that will be about uh, the ideology and life of such prophets and the varied wisdom that can help us bring a good humanity 
and awaken the master within us. Thank you.